जी आहे की त्यांनी डोम मध्ये लवकरात लवकर येऊन आपले आसन ग्रहण करावे सर्व विद्यार्थ्यांना विनंती आहे की त्यांनी लवकरात लवकर डोम मध्ये येऊन आपले स्थान ग्रहण करावे विद्यार्थ्यांना विनंती आहे की त्यांनी लवकरात लवकर डोम मध्ये येऊन आपले स्थान ग्रहण करावे Ladies and graduates are requested to please gather as soon as possible in Rome. विद्यार्थ्यांना आग्रहाची विनंती आहे की त्यांनी डोम मध्ये येऊन आपले स्थान ग्रहण करावे
home in Campbell. Married students are requested to please sit, occupy front seats. Occupy front seat. should not roam in campus. All students are requested to sit in dome. should not roam in campus. All are requested to sit in dome. All invitees and graduates are requested to please gather as soon as possible in dome. Yeah, I'm not agra.
नमस्कार शुभ संध्या पदवी प्रदान नयन रम्य सोनेटी जमले या सर्व पदवीधर विद्यार्थ्यांचे स्वागत करते आपल्यासाठी मी काही महत्वाच्या सूचना देणार आहेत त्या सूचनांचे काळजीपूर्वक पालन करावे ही सर्वांना आग्रहाची विनंती पदवीधर विद्यार्थ्यांसाठी जी बैठक व्यवस्था केलेली आहे त्याच कंपार्टमेंट मध्ये विद्यार्थ्यांनी बसावे सर्व निमंत्रितांनी आणि पदवीधारकांनी आपले फोन सायलेंट मोड वर ठेवावेत पदवी प्रदान समारंभाचे मुख्य अतिथी समारंभाचे अध्यक्ष आणि इतर पाहुणे कार्यक्रम स्थळी प्रवेश करतील तेव्हा सर्वांनी उभे राहावेत पाहुणे खुर्चीवर आसरस्त होईपर्यंत पदवीधरांनी पुरस्कार
विद्यार्थ्यांनी बसावे सर्व निमंत्रितांनी आणि पदवीधरांनी आपले फोन सायलेंट मोडवर ठेवावेत पदवी प्रदान समारंभाचे The graduates are to sit in the designated compartments or blocks. ये भोले भाले मतवाली परिया जो है अब दौलत पे कुर्बान हो कीमत जब दिल की ये समझेगी तो हम पे छिड़केंगी अपनी जान यहाँ के हम सिकंदर चाहे तो रख ले सबको अपनी जेब के अंदर 
अरे हम भी हैं शहजादे कुर्बान The graduates are to sit in the designated compartments or blocks. हेलो Please be seated as per the stipulated arrangements given on your invitation card. Hello. All invitees and graduates are requested to maintain silence in dome. All invitees and graduates are requested to maintain silence in dome. All invitees and graduates are requested to maintain silence and dome. All 
merited students are requested to occupy front seats. Invitees and graduates are requested to maintain silence in dome. Graduates are requested to gather as soon as possible in Dome. All invitees and graduates are requested to maintain silence in Dome. Dice, to lead the guests to their seats or the desk. 
the guests please occupy the seats Ladies and graduates, please be seated. We welcome all the dignitaries to the ceremony. I request Professor Preeti Rangari, ma'am, to begin the proceedings. Respected dignitaries, dear invitees, graduates, and colleagues, I, Professor Preeti Rangari, welcome you all in the first. Commencement ceremony of GS College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, in its new avatar as an autonomous college. As all of you are aware, our college has started its journey as an autonomous college from the 2018-19 session. As an autonomous college, it is mandated to not only start its UG, PG programs and design their syllabi. But also to conduct its own semester and examination. However, the degrees are to be given by our parent, RTM Nagpur University. One thing that all graduates should relish and cherish is that even as the degree is to be issued by the university, it has the college's name written on it, unlike the degrees. For other affiliated non-autonomous college, thus, every time you would look at your degree in your folder or on the wall, you are going to fondly think about GS College Nagpur, your alma mater. Today's commencement ceremony is being conducted to officially anoint you as graduates. Please note that. You become graduates proper only after the official investiture is done. Until then, you are graduates. That is just a step before becoming graduates. Needless to say, from now on, you are to be more responsible, and you have to live up to your new status and profile. We congratulate for you, your success, and wish you all the very best for your future. We also expect you to realize and fulfill the college's mission of Udyoginam Purushasiham Urpeti Lakshmi, that is, industrious and lion-hearted men generate wealth, wealth for yourself and for our great nation. Today's commencement address is being delivered by our estimated guest, Sri Ramdev Agrawal, who is our alumnus. From the BCom 1973-1976 batch, and at present the chairman of Motilal Oswal Financial Services Limited, Mumbai, which is a leading financial services company in India. For those who are in the world of commerce and finance, no special introduction of Sri Ramdev Agrawal is required. After passing out from GS Nagpur. He pursued chartered accountancy in Mumbai. He began his career as a stock broker with Bombay Stock Exchange. Subsequently, in 1987, he co-founded stock broker with financial services, which deals with broking, mutual funds, and wealth management. He regards Warren Buffett as his mentor. He is only also regarded as a Warren Buffett of India. Suffice to say that Sri Ramdev Agrawal, who started his career with a 10 lakh portfolio in 1986, is now a billionaire, a truly industrious and lion-hearted GSEN who is generating wealth for himself and for our country. It is indeed a great privilege for all of us. To have him as a chief guest for our first commencement ceremony, 
and we have no doubts that his commencement address will be containing several success mantras that have made him a great professional worthy of emulation. We wholeheartedly welcome him back to his alma mater and look forward to his prolonged association with us. Today's commencement ceremony is being presided over by our Honorable Chairman Sri Sanjay Bhargav, under whose leadership our college has achieved a phenomenal growth. We also owe our new bearings and success to our departed leader Sri Rahul Bajaj, former president of Shiksha Mandal Vardha, who left for his heavenly abode in February of this year. We dedicate the ceremony to his loving memory. Now, I request Principal Sir to welcome our chief guest, Sri Ramdev Agrawal, with a memento, a khadihar, and charkha. I am sure that our chief guest, Sri Ramdev Agrawal, he is aware of our Gandhian rules. Now, I request our Honorable Chairman Sir, to welcome Sri Ramdev Agrawal sir with Rahul Bajaj biography. Now I request Principal Sir to welcome our Chairman Sir with a memento and Khadi Har. Thank you very much, sir. Now I request Principal Sir to invite Chairman Sir to formally open the commencement ceremony. I request Honorable Chairman Sri Sanjay Bhargo Sir to formally declare the commencement ceremony as open on behalf of the governing body and management of J.S. College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur. Chairman Sir, please. On behalf of the governing body of J.S. College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, Autonomous, I declare the commencement ceremony as open. Now, I most respectfully invite Principal Dr. N. Y. Khandai Sir to deliver his opening address. Got 
these things happen in India. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body of JS College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, and Shikshamandal Varda, Shri Sanjay Bhargav. Our esteemed chief guest of today's ceremony, Shri Ramde Agrawal, Chairman of Motilal Oswal Financial Services Limited, and proud to add our alumnus. Respected members of Shikshamandal Varda, the university officers present here, citizens and stakeholders, all the chairpersons of the various boards of studies of the college, faculty and staff members, their graduates and their parents and their students. Firstly, on behalf of the entire GS College Parivar, I wholeheartedly welcome the president of today's ceremony, Honorable Chairman Shri Sanjay Bhargav sir, our esteemed chief guest Shri Ramdev Agrawal, and the invitees and stakeholders to this commencement ceremony, come graduation ceremony. And it is indeed a great privilege for me to be addressing the first pass out batches of UG and PG programs under autonomy. Some four years ago, we started this journey together under the able leadership of our Honorable Chairman Shri Sanjay Bhargav, which marked a new era for the 75-year-old edifice of exclusive commerce education and whether you realized or not, all of us started scripting a new history for this great college of ours. So I firstly congratulate all of you for not only becoming the first ever graduates of autonomous commerce programs in our university, but also for setting forth a new legacy and new benchmarks that will be followed by the succeeding batches. When we started autonomy, a few eyebrows were raised in academic circles. Can traditional courses survive the rigors of autonomy? It being a general leitmotif. Well, you have answered that question with an ila. You have not only survived autonomy, but also taken it forward. Well done. And thus all praise for my students and teachers. In his very famous poem, the road not taken, Robert Frost talks about the choices uh, one makes in life and how those choices change the course of life, I quote. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. I am sure that by choosing the less traveled road of autonomy, you have already underscored the difference between your sales and others. Autonomy, by default, entails newness and challenges. I remember comparing you with the Olympians, whose motto is Scythius, Altius, and Fortius. That is Latin translated faster, higher, and stronger. That is what autonomy can transform you into, provided you follow the rules of the game. And rules are simple. Just be honest with your vocation and remain true to your own potential. Once you are possessed with the idea of achieving excellence, be in academics or sports or in any walk of life for that matter, believe me, success will follow you everywhere. Remember Aristotle's famous quote? We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but habit. Autonomy encourages you to excel at every turn, so much so that excellence becomes a habit, a routine, and not in one off act to put on the wall or in a showcase. Well, this is what we expect from all our students, and time will tell to what extent you prove us true. Today, when we see our alumni, like our esteemed chief guest today, we prove a point that our instruction has been spot on. 30, 40 years on, many of you would prove the point that you have received, what you have received in GS College was equally good, if not better. Success of any educational institution is measured by the profile of its alumni. This college, over its 75 years of existence, has produced 
numerous solvers who have carved out spaces for themselves in various fields. Industrialists and entrepreneurs, chartered accountants and bankers, vice chancellors, professors, lawyers, union and state ministers, you name it. This is not a time to place, uh, this is not a time or place to read out the list, but some names that stands out. Sri Nidinji Gadkari, Sri Banwar Lalji Purohit, Sri Harish Salve, Sri Jairip Shah, Sri Nilesh Sathe, Sri Manish Nual, Sri Pendarkar, I can go on. Their success stories, as much as they enrich the college's profile, also testify that we are an institution where students are groomed well. And therefore, I do not hesitate in seeing all of you, the future leaders and professionals who would command respect like their worthy predecessors. The legacy of any good institution is built by its students, both past and present. We have had the glorious past by the then standards, but the 21st century demands much more of its students. The horizons of knowledge have enlarged and so have the attributes of graduates. We have now started using terms like industry readiness, employability, skill education, global, competitions, uh, global competencies, multidisciplinarism, etc. as essential requirements of students, unlike the earlier century, where students were expected to be masters in one faculty, one area. Sayings like jack of all trades and master of none was a constant reminder to all of us, all the students of the bygone days, that is to say. Okay? But now it is both the jack of all trades and also master of all. You need to have the latest knowledge, the latest skills, you have to be on par with English in IT, which have been deemed as global competencies in mathematics, history, sociology, political science, and so on and so forth. Okay? So scores of subjects, okay, if you want to survive the present day competencies. So how do you survive? How do you stand tall in the ground, uh, in the crowd? How do you become winners? Traditional education systems and syllabi fall short of meeting these new demands. Autonomy allows the higher education institution to answer most of this question. So by adopting autonomy, we took the road less traveled by and that has made all the difference for us. Spurred by the tremendous response that we received for autonomy, we started two new UG programs of become honors and become finance and accountancy. In the third year now, these programs have attracted students from as many as 12 states. A college, suddenly a college, which was at best a regional college, that is us, okay, began its transformation as a national institution. Some hitherto unheard things, like students coming to the college by aeroplanes for seeking admissions, or the Kashmiri students preferring GS college over Hinduja, or, you know, uh, Sri Ram, Delhi, under PM Triple scheme started happening, and that too in the difficult times of COVID-19. The difference, yesterday, a girl from Kolkata, she secured admission in our college for become honors. In addition to these novelties, we also started taking other less travel roads like we made attendance compulsory, you responded, that is positively. We introduced additional credits, you again responded. We introduced internships, you again responded. We held physical examinations when the world was in the online mode and you responded. So you see, dear students, you have already done a number of things which uh, are different and even though you have not realized that it. I often ask my students as to who drives a car, and all answer, I do. But if you really want to go deeper, you would realize that it is the car which drives you. All the accelerating, uh, braking, changing of gears, looking the side rear view, and giving the side to ambulance, okay, all appear to happen automatically, even though you are at the wheel. It is as if the difference between the driver and the driven is obliterated. Similar process happens in education under autonomy. Initially, it is you who dictate the terms, the process of learning as it were. But later, when you start facing new challenges, okay, it is these challenges which drive you. 
you take you, they take you from one destination to another so much so that you find it impossible to stop you become possessed hungry like steel jobs as it were even if people call you foolish dear students miracles don't happen you have to make them happen so your choice of tough autonomous programs with increased number of courses and higher difficulty levels over the other traditional syllabi might have been looked upon by some as wrong maybe foolish who knows but that is the way of the world it is the same world which had made galileo drink poison because he refused to say that the earth was flat and it is the same world which made fun of the right brothers when they thought of flying like birds new ideas and new movements are often discouraged the war between the tradition and modernity still rages on the dichotomy of traditional versus the modern can be resolved through hegelian dialectics if we transfer the hegel's dialectic to our academic dichotomy of the traditional closed ended education systems versus the modern open ended systems then autonomy appears to be an ideal synthesis for now but then that is not constant some day autonomy too would become a thesis which will effectively eventually meet its antithesis to meet another synthesis perhaps nep on which of course we are having a seminar tomorrow our synthesis could be the antithesis or thesis depending on your point of view so change is the order of the day the only constant among so many variables by opting for a change and by choosing the least travel path of autonomy and by sticking it out uh, like galileo you have proved that you have deserved autonomy as much as autonomy has deserved you today you have reached a well deserved destination and i am sure that you have derived a great pleasure in this rigorous journey just as we have i congratulate you for both the journey and the destination for us this journey has been like you both challenging and rewarding but our job was made easier by the various well wishers at all levels who believed in our cause i am grateful to all the university authorities and officers led by the then vice chancellor dr sv kane sir the officers of the government of maharashtra at mumbai pune and nagpur we could have we couldn't have had a more benevolent and friend uh, you know friend philosopher and guide than the ugc nominated dr p n sharma p n mishra i'm sorry all the nominated members of our statutory bodies from nagpur university and other universities our friends in industry and academia like dr vinayak deshpande dr anant deshmukh dr sanjay kavishwar to name a few helped us with the timely inputs in chalking out new strategies and effecting revisions in syllabi in autonomy examinations are very very crucial and we got a great support and guidance from the two directors of examinations in dr neeraj khati and now his successor dr prakula sable and the entire examination department of the university just to share with you dear friends dr sable and his entire team has worked hard to deliver your degrees in time which made this program possible we are also we are also guided time and again by dr raju rius he is the registrar and our friend dr raman madne the deputy registrar our honorable vice chancellor dr subhash choudhury who couldn't be here today for some prior engagements has offered us all the help in our new ventures i express my sincere thanks to all of them for supporting our cause dear graduates our autonomy and today's ceremony wouldn't have been possible but for the unstinting support that we got from our honorable chairman shri sanjay bhargav sir and all the members of our management under the caring of kai of the honorable president of shiksha mandal shri shekhar bajaj today we deeply miss our leader and former president of shiksha mandal late shri rahul bajaj who always wanted us to excel this uh, ceremony could well be our humble tribute to shri rahul ji as principal and as an individual i owe a great deal to our kind management thank you sirs lastly i wholeheartedly express my gratitude to all the students their parents 
stakeholders and patrons for believing in us and enlarging our vision and mission. Your faith in us and our desire to serve you have been the driving forces all along. And as we march ahead, I cannot help but think that if this synergy of willing recipients and the dynamic givers, that is our teachers, is sustained, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. The college is well on course of uh, well on course to achieving unprecedented heights. I pray to God that this happens sooner than later, and I live to see this glory. Dear graduates, you are now about to become graduates, which means a lot. You are now getting a new profile, a new identity, and also a new responsibility. I am sure that we have made you sufficiently strong to take upon the new challenges and perform your due roles in the society. I pray to God that your zeal for newness and your desire for excellence never cease. I started with Robert Frost and conclude with exhorting all of you that like Frost Traveller, you and we have miles to go before we sleep. So let us keep this journey alive and derive as much pleasure out of it as possible. And who knows, one day you may not have to even follow the path, perhaps it is the path that will follow you. God bless you all and thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your motivational address. Dear graduates, now we begin the ceremony which you have been anxiously waiting for, that is the conformment of degrees. This most prized moment in your life has been delayed by the COVID-19 pandemic. But now all is well and here we are all set for your investiture ceremony. I request Professor Madhuri Purohit to continue the proceedings. Thank you, Madam. I now request Principal Dr. N.Y. Khandait sir to invite the controller of examination and chairpersons of various boards of studies to present graduates before the Honorable Chairman sir for pledge, investiture and conferment of degrees. I also request all the graduates to rise when they are called and remain standing until they are asked to sit. Thank you. I request the control of examination and the chairpersons of various boards to present graduates of various programs before the honorable chairman of the governing body and management of the college. I first call upon the chairman of board of studies in economics Dr. Shubhangi More to present MCOM graduates before the Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body and Management of the College, Dr. Shubhangi More. All the graduates of MCOM program passed out in the summer 2020 and summer 2021 examinations are requested to stand up. I take the privilege of presenting before the Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body and Management of GS College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, Autonomous, the candidates of MCOM program in person and all those in absentia who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of Master of Commerce from the Rashtrasan Tukroji Maharaj, Nagpur University. The graduates, please keep standing. Thank you, sir. I now call upon the Chairperson of Board of Studies in Business Administration, Dr. Sonali Gadekar, to present MBA graduates before the Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body and Management of the College. Dr. Garekar.
business. All the graduates of MBA program passed out in the summer 2020 and summer 2021 examinations are requested to stand up. I take the privilege of presenting before the Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body and the Management of GS College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur Autonomous, the candidates of MBA program in person and all those in absentia who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive degree of Master of Business Administration from the Rashtra Santa to Kroji Maharaj Nagpur University. The graduates, please keep standing. Thank you, sir. I now call upon the Chairperson of Board of Studies in Commerce, Dr. Ranjana Sahu, to present become graduates before the Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body and Management of the College, Dr. Ranjana Sahu. All the graduates of BCOM program passed out in summer 2021 examination are requested to stand up. I take the privilege of presenting before the Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body and Management of GS College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, Autonomous, the candidates of BCOM program in person and all those in absentia who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of Bachelor of Commerce from the Rashtrasan Tukroji Maharaj Nagpur University. The graduates, please keep standing. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. I now call upon the Chairperson of Boards of Studies in Information Technology, Professor Praveen Yadav, also our COE, to present become Computer Application graduates before the Chairman of the Governing Body and Management of the College, Professor Yadav. All the graduates of Become Computer Application program passed out in the summer 2002 organization are requested to stand up. Stand up, all of you. I take the privilege of presenting before the Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body and Management of GS College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, Autonomous, the candidates of Become Computer Application program in person and all those in absentia who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Computer Application from the Rashtra Sant Tukaloji Maharaj Nagpur City, Nagpur. The graduates, please keep standing. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Yadav. I now call upon the Chairperson of Board of Studies in Accountancy, Dr. Vishal Thangan, to present BBA graduates before the Honorable Chairman of the Governing Body and Management of the College, Dr. Thangan. All the graduates of BBA program pass out in summer 21 examinations are requested to stand up. I take the privilege of presenting before the Honorable Chairman of Governing Body and Management of GS College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, Autonomous, the candidates of BBA program in person and all those in absentia who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration from the Rashtrasant Tukuruji Maharaj Nagpur University. The graduates, please keep standing. Thank you, sir. Now, I request Principal Dr. N. Y. Khandait, sir, to invite Honorable Chairman, sir, for administration of pledge. All graduates of all programs will remain standing during the administration of pledge and investiture. Dear graduates, Honorable Chairman Sir Sri Sanjay Bhargav will ask you three questions. 
after each question all graduates have to respond with three words i do promise uh, again three questions and you have to answer i do promise i request honorable chairman shri sanjay bhargav sir to administer the pledge to all the graduates of various programs chairman sir do you solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that if admitted to the degree for which you have qualified you will in your daily life and conversation conduct yourself and become worthy members of the rashtra san tukroji maharaj nagpur university and govindram saxeria college of commerce and economics nagpur do you solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that to the utmost of your opportunity and ability you will use your powers for the promotion of true learning and in the service of your fellow men do you solemnly and sincerely promise that you will faithfully and diligently fulfill the duties of the profession to which you will eventually belong and that you will on all occasions maintain its purity and reputation Now I request Principal Dr. N. Y. Khandai Sir to invite Honorable Chairman Sir for ordering the investiture. I request Honorable Chairman Sir Sanjay Bhargav Sir to order the investiture of students, graduates. Sir. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the governing body of Govindram Saxeria College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, autonomous. I admit me admit you to the various degrees for which you have been declared qualified for the degrees of Rashtra Sant Tukroji Maharaj Nagpur University. Congratulations. Thank you sir. Thank you on behalf of all the graduates. Can I ask the graduates to sit? Now you please be seated. Dear graduates Now you all are no longer graduates you have just become the graduates in every sense of word and you have to now carry yourself with the new identity that you have just best have been bestowed upon by the honorable chairman by his order of investiture congratulations once again now we begin the medal distribution at the hands of our chief guest shri ramdev agrawal i request ms priti ingwari rangari to conduct the next segment of the ceremony thank you madam i now request principal sir to invite the chairperson of the board of studies in languages dr ms swati kathale to present the medalist and award winners before the honorable chairman sir and dignitaries with the consent of honorable chairman of the governing body and management i invite chairperson of the board of studies in languages dr ms swati kathale to present the recipients of medals awards and prizes before him dr kathale i take immense pleasure in presenting before honorable chairman sir the recipients of various medals awards and prizes all the medalists and prize winners are requested to come to the dais to collect their medals and prizes when their names are announced in case the winners are not present due to some reasons their parents if they are present may come to collect the prizes on their ward's behalf the honorable chief guest shri ramdev agrawal chairman motilal oswal financial services mumbai honorable chairman shri sanjay bhargav sir and principal dr n y khandai sir will do the honors thank you thank you madam I would like to inform our honorable chief guest that our college became autonomous in 2018 and since they produce two batches PG programs of MCom and MBA in summer 2020 and summer 21 examinations and four batches of three UG programs 
of BCom, BCom Computer Application and BBA. The summer 22 batches have now gone exam for examinations and their results are being declared. We have already declared the merit list of all summer 2020 and summer 21 examinations. We have also instituted Shiksha Mandal gold medals for all the toppers from various programs. Further, we have also instituted Principal Tokhi gold medal for the MCOM topper. Principal MR Tokhi, you may recall, we are founding principal from 1945 to 1971. Further, Govindram Sexiria Charitable Trust, Mumbai, has instituted Govindram Sexiria gold medals for the BCOM toppers, separately for a girl topper and a boy topper. As all of you are aware, our college is named after said Govindram Sexiria, who donated a handsome amount to Shiksha Mandal in 1940s. In addition, there are also three Shiksha Mandal cash prizes of rupees 7,000, 5,000, and 3,000 for the first three droppers from each program. I request the honorable dignitaries to hand over the medals and prizes to all the medalists and award winners as we announce their names. I request Dr. Madhuri Purohit to please announce the names for MCOM program. Thank you, Madam. We start with the summer 2020 examination in which the first batches of MCOM and MBA passed out. I start with the summer 2020 batch of MCOM program which we conduct in three mediums of English, Hindi, Marathi and firstly call upon Ms. Rajeshwari D. Sharma to receive the Shiksha Mandal gold medal and cash prize of rupees 7,000 for achieving the first rank in the order of merit for the program of MCOM in summer 2020. She will receive her medal and prize from Chief Guest Sri Ramdev Agrawal. Further, Ms. Rajeshwari D. Sharma is eligible for Principal M.R. Tokhi Gold Medal for achieving first rank in the order of merit for the program of MCOM Summer 2020. She will receive her medal from Chairman Sri Sanjay Bhargava, sir. I now call upon Ms. Aarti S. Varma, who will receive the cash prize of rupees 5,000 for achieving the second rank in the order of merit for the program of MCOM Summer 2020. She will receive her cash prize from Chairman Sri Sanjay Bhargava, sir. Uh, I request Madhur to collect on her behalf. I, Madhur, you have to stay there only, Madhur. Miss Madhur Mishra, who will receive the cash prize of 3,000 for achieving the third rank in the order of merit for the program of MCOM Summer 2020. She will receive her cash prize from Principal Dr. N.Y. Khandait, sir. Madhur, Madhur. She has secured third place. I now start with the MCOM program Summer 2021 and firstly call upon Ms. Archana Kumari to receive the Shiksha Mandal gold medal and cash prize of rupees 7,000 for achieving first rank in the order of merit for the program of MCOM in summer 2021. She will receive her medal and prize from the Chief Guest Sri Ramdev Agrawal. Further, Ms. Archana Kumari is eligible for Principal MR Toki Gold Medal for Summer 2021. She will receive her medal and prize from Chairman Sri Sanjay Bhargava sir. I, I now call upon Ms. Preksha K. Kaushik 
who will receive the cash prize of rupees 5000 for achieving the second rank in the order of merit for the program of mcom summer 2021 she will receive her cash prize from chairman shri sanjay bhargava sir students big round of applause for all the merit holders i now call upon ms mansi s bhale rao who will receive the cash prize of rupees 3000 for achieving the third rank in the order of merit for the program of mcom 2021 she will receive her cash prize from dr uh, principal sir dr n y khandai sir we congratulate all the medal and prize winners for their stupendous success and wish them a great career ahead now i request me ms pragati pande to announce the names of mba program thank you ma'am i start with summer 2020 examination of mba and firstly call upon ms pragati d sharma to receive the shiksha mandal gold medal and cash prize of 7000 rupees for achieving the first rank in order of merit for the program of mba in summer 2020 i request our honorable chief guest shri ramdev agrawal to do the honor We have two students who have been ranked second. I first of all call upon Miss Harshal Maske and Miss Ratika Agrawal, who will receive the cash prize of five thousand rupees for achieving jointly the second rank in the order of merit for the program of MBA Summer 2020. I request our honourable chairman, Sri Sanjay Bhargava sir, to do the honour. Miss Ratika Agrawal. Ritika please collect on behalf of Harshal Maske also I now now call upon Mr Devarchit Srivastava who will receive the cash prize of 3000 rupees for achieving the third rank in the order of merit for the program of mba summer 2020 i request our respected principal dr n y khandal sir to do the honor harshal can you please collect on behalf of devarchit shrivastav I now start with summer 2021 examination of MBA and firstly call upon Ms Kanchan Sadalwar to receive the Shiksha Mandal gold medal and cash prize of 7000 rupees for achieving the first rank in the order of merit for the program of MBA in summer 2021 she will receive her medal and prize from honorable chief guest Sri Ramdev Agrawal Now I call upon Ms Harshita Patnayak who will receive the cash prize of 5000 rupees for achieving the second rank in the order of merit for the program of MBA summer 2021 she will receive her cash prize from honorable chairman Shri Sanjay Bhargava sir his patnayak's father He is collecting on behalf of Harshita Patnaik. Thank you, sir. I now call upon Mr. Abhishek A. Sharma, who will receive the cash prize of three thousand for achieving the third rank in the order of merit for the program of MBA Summer 
He will receive his cash, cash prize from respected principal Dr. N. Y. Khandal Sir. Thank you. We congratulate all the medal and prize winners for their stupendous success and wish them a great career ahead. Now I request Professor Akash Jain, Secretary, Academic Council, to announce the names for the BCom programs. Thank you, Prakriti Ma'am. We now turn to you. To the UG programs, the first batch of which passed out in summer 2021, I begin with the UG program of BCom, which we conduct in three mediums of English, Hindi, and Marathi, and firstly call upon Mr. Reban Pariyar to receive the Shiksha Mandal gold medal and cash prize of rupees seven thousand for achieving the first rank in the order of merit for the program of BCom in summer 2021. He will receive his medal and prize from the chief guest Sri Ramdev Agrawal. Further, Mr. Reban Pariyar is eligible for Govindra Sheikh Sariya gold medal for topping the BCom examination from among the boys category. in the program of bcom summer 2021 he will receive his medal and book from chairman shri sanjay bhargav sir i now call upon ms shweta shrivas who will receive the cash prize of rupees 5000 for achieving the second rank in the order of merit for the program of bcom summer 2021 she will receive her cash prize and a book from chairman shri sanjay bhargav sir further ms Shweta Shrivas is eligible for Govindram Sheikh Sariya gold medal for topping the BCom examination from among the girls category in the program of BCom summer 2021 she will receive her medal from medal and book from chairman shri sanjay bhargav sir i now call upon ms sukeshini mishra who will receive the cash prize of 3000 for achieving the third rank in the order of merit for the program of bcom summer 2021 she will receive her cash prize and a book from principal dr n y kandai sir we congratulate all the medal and prize winners for their stupendous success and wish them a great career ahead i now request professor shushma gavande to announce the prizes prizes for bcom computer application thank you aga sir now we turn to the department of bcom computer application popularly known as bcca and firstly call upon ms karishma shende to receive shiksha mandal gold prize and cash prize of rupees 7000 for achieving the first rank in the order of merit for the program of bcom computer application in summer 2021 she will receive her medal and prize from the chief guest shri ramdev agrawal sir
I now call upon Ms. Priyanka Ram, who will receive the cash prize of rupees five thousand and book for achieving the second rank in the order of merit for the program of BCom Computer Application in summer two thousand twenty-one. Priyanka is not present today. Currently, she is working in First India Company, Bangalore, and shifted to Bangalore with her family. So, I request Karishma to receive her cash prize from Chairman Shri Sanjay Bhargav Sir. I now call upon. Ms. Sakshi S. Gupta, who will receive the cash prize of rupees three thousand and book for achieving the third rank in the order of merit for the program of BCom Computer Application in summer two thousand twenty-one. She is not present today. Currently, she is working in Byju's Bangalore and shifted to Bangalore, Bangalore with her family. So again, I request Karishma. to receive her cash prize from principal dr n y khandai sir thank you karishma we congratulate all the medal and prize winner for their stupendous success and wish them a great career ahead now i request professor ms sakshi awalia to announce the name for the bba program thank you sushma ma'am we started the bba program in 2006 and from the beginning of the program it has been received like hot cakes after autonomy the bba program has further been strengthened with increased number of credits like bcca and it still remains a most sought after program in the college like any other programs like all previous programs the bba list is also dominated by the girls i take great pleasure in first calling upon ms sangeeta gamar to receive the shiksha mandal gold medal and cash prize of rupees 7000 for achieving the first rank in the order of merit for the program of bba in summer 2021 she will receive her medal and prize from the chief guest shri ramdev agrawal sir Could we have a big round of applause for the medal winners? I now call upon Mr. Aditya Singh, who will receive the cash prize of rupees five thousand for achieving the second rank in order of merit for the program of BBA in summer 2021. He will receive his cash prize from Chairman Sri Sanjay Bhargav Sir. I now call upon Ms. Charu J. Kanchandani, who will receive the cash prize of rupees three thousand for achieving the third rank in order of merit for the program of BBA in summer twenty twenty one. She will receive her cash prize from Principal Dr. N. Y. Khandai Sir. We congratulate all the medal and prize winners for their stupendous success and wish them a great career ahead. Over to you, Preeti, ma'am. Thank you, Sakshi. That concludes the prize distribution program for the evening. We thank our chief guest, Sri Ramdev Agrawal, and honourable chairman, Sri Sanjay Bhargav, for distributing the medals and prizes. You have. indeed made the day <clears throat>
for our students by your uh, benevolence and blessings. Thank you, sirs. Now we turn to the next stage of the commencement ceremony, which is the commencement address by our chief guest, Sri Ramdev Agrawal. I request our principal, sir, Dr. N. Y. Khandai, to please invite Chief Guest Sri Ramdev Agrawal to deliver his commencement address. Principal, sir, please. Congratulations to all the winners and uh, special congratulations to some of the boys, couple of boys. Uh, let the tribe of the boys go in terms of merits and medal winners. And now, of course, the moment has come for which you have been anxiously waiting for. And uh, now I request uh, our chief guest of the evening, our alumnus and the chairman of Motilal Oswal Group, Sri Ramdev Agrawal to deliver his commencement address. Welcome, sir. Respected Chairman, uh, Mr. Sanjay Bhargava, Principal, Dr. Khandai, faculty members, and dear fellow students and friends. I have few friends who were with me in this college and stayed in the hostel, and they are all here to witness this particular moment. I am so thrilled. I am absolutely at home, and you cannot, you cannot estimate how, how happy I am to be here amongst all of you. I am truly honored to be, to be amongst all of you. My sincere thanks to the organizers for remembering me despite the fact that I was a very ordinary student of the college in the 70s. I was not the, among the gold medalists. So, so despite that, college remembered me and I am very thankful for that. This evening, I want to share with you something which I strongly believe, very strongly believe, and this is completely my logo, you can become what you want to become. Let me just repeat. Hello, please listen to me, what I'm saying. You can become what you want to become. Jo sochoge, wo banoge. So this I'm telling you from my own experience. For this to happen, you have a very simple formula. Plan your play and play your plan. Plan your play and play your plan. I will detail it a little later. Let me start with two quotes, two very famous quotes. First, Bill Gates, you know, Microsoft's founder and famous billionaire and philanthropist. If you are born poor, if you are born poor, it's not your mistake. But if, you're, if you die poor, it's your mistake. Second, Warren Buffett said, this is very important. In fact, I was surprised to listen to this. It is not necessary to do, it is not necessary to do extraordinary things to achieve extraordinary results. Does it give you a lot of encouragement? You don't have to do extraordinary things to do extraordinary results. And living example is me. I have not done anything extraordinary and result is fabulous. So, I would like to summarize my story as a combination of the above three thoughts. Play your plan, plan your play, play your plan, and you have to die rich. And third, you don't have to do extraordinary things if you, if you want extraordinary results. <clears throat> you can become what you want to become. Dear students, age is on your side. Please remember, Age is completely, you are all 18, 19, 20, 21. So you have 80 years ahead of you, 70, 80 years ahead of you. I am 65, I am left with maybe 30, 35 years. So you will definitely have 80, 85 years ahead of you. So, so clearly you need to plan your, your years ahead, decades ahead. And it is not a small job. You start thinking about those 60, 70, 80 years. You can imagine what you can do. You can do anything, whatever you want. So you have to do a clear goal setting, determined execution, and knowing fully well that there will be challenges along the way 
no pain, no gain. There will be obstacles, for sure. There is no, none of the achievements are going to be a straight line. But get ready for the pain, and the gain will be multiple times bigger than pain. In fact, my experience is that achieving, I, my experience is that you achieve your goals way ahead of your time. If you have aligned your passion with the profession, this is most important. I think you never work in life if you align your passion with your profession. If you are a cricketer, you make career in cricket. If you are an artist, make career in drama. If you are a commerce student, make career in stock market. You will never have any difficulties. So align your passion with perfection and that is the biggest luck I had at the age of 21, 22 when I started my career from GS College, where I went to do my CA. I had a complete alignment in my career. So, in my case, I planned at the age of 30 what I would like to achieve at the age of 50. And actually I achieved by 40, 42 years. So that's the power of planning. And the best thing about goal setting is that there is no downside. You have no downside. If you win, of course, you are, you are all over. Even if you fail, you, even if you fail to achieve your goal on time, you will be happy because you have pursued your passion and given your best. So you will always be happy and happiness is the most important thing. Let me just give you a few facts because what happens is I can remember, I can imagine at your age, of course this is a different time. When I was here, even the newspapers were very different to come by. But today, you are sitting in the world of digital era, where you can read any newspaper, any books, any point of time, uh, from anywhere. So this is a very different world, but still let me tell you, the facts, that facts excites me, is about your prospects in decades ahead. And we live in connected world. World economy is about $100 trillion. India is just 3% of the world. We are about $3 trillion and 15% of the population. In last 25 years, world GDP has tripled and India has gone 10 to 12 times. In next 25 years, now this is the, your area of opportunity. In next 25 years, I see India to be over $15 trillion with a per capita GDP of $10,000, which is right now about $2,200, $2,300. Broadly, where China is today. So the opportunity size you will, you will get, opportunity size for the competent people you will get is multifold bigger than what we saw when we passed out in 75, 77. And uh, don't forget, this world is also becoming very rich. From 100 trillion dollars, the world become 200 trillion. And your opportunity is not limited to India. Now your opportunity is global. You would see, like uh, you might have seen uh, Sundar Pachai, he is running Google. Uh, Satya Nadella is running Microsoft. These are just about the beginning. You all have the opportunity to reach to those heights and exploit the global opportunity. This is the best of the times for all of you. So I, I would advise you to take your career very seriously. This career making is a very serious thing. Don't take it lightly. And become a deserving participant. Because nobody is going to give you free. You have to be deserving. You have to upscale yourself. This is just about the foundation. This is nothing. This is just about the foundation and your journey starts now of building around yourself. Be, be an entrepreneur. Whether you want to become a businessman, whether you want to become a corporate chief like Satya Nadella, or a Bollywood star, or a cricket star, or a politician, or an artist, whatever you want to become, you have to be deserving. Let me also tell you, I planned my play. I mean, this is just the backdrop. But let me give you some stories of my own experiences from where I am speaking. <coughs> I planned my play. My first goal was to become a chartered accountant. I came to, I came to GS College. I am actually from Rapport, Chhattisgarh. And that too from a village. And I am from a fa I'm, my father was a farmer. So I, we still have our land. So I am with a farming background from Rapport, Chhattisgarh. I came to Nagpur to do BCom in English medium so that I can do chartered accountancy. That was a path set for me. But, you know, there are difficulties. 
So here is my story of becoming chartered accountant. So there were a lot of difficulties. The biggest difficulty was the transition from Hindi medium to English medium. I was very good in maths, accounts, and uh, statistics. Uh, Professor D. C. Jain, Professor Barjatia, late Mr. Barjatia, very very fantastic teacher, professor, and they all laid the foundation, fantastic foundation for statistics and accounts. But I was useless in theory papers like O and M, economics, correspondence. I was not able to write a line. I don't know how I passed. So there was a lot of difficulty because of my language transition. But anyway, I barely passed my B com from here. So the next challenge was to pass CA intermediate. Now you could somehow scrap through here, but in CA it is far more tougher. So it took four attempts in Mumbai to pass my. Uh, I failed four times in CA intermediate. At the age of 24, then I realized why I am failing. I am failing because my handwriting was useless, very bad. So I had to change my handwriting at the age of 24. And today my handwriting is better than anybody's handwriting. I changed my handwriting 24, and then I passed CA very easily. So those kind of difficulties I came through, and at the age of 26, finally I became CA. So yes, if you are set a target, you can imagine when I went to Mumbai, I didn't have even a hostel room, and uh, I didn't have any introductions. Still, we could survive and become a chartered accountant. So once you set your goal, everything comes together to help you. Just that you stay together and keep determined. What are the lessons? Lesson is first set clear and ambitious goal. It has to be very ambitious goal. Getting for a gold medalist to get a job is very easy. But to say I want to be CEO of a Bajaj Finance, I want to run Bajaj Financial Services, I want to run this company, that company, HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, that should be the goal, or maybe even bigger. There will be challenges, as I said, in execution. But don't give up. Giving up means you lose out. You don't give up. And dar ke aage jeet hai. Now, second, once I became chartered accountant, I actually I was so happy that okay, I have achieved something. Then the problem came. What do I do? Then I said, now next goal is to be successful businessman and make money because I didn't have any money. You know, I mean, in Mumbai. If you if you keep doing article shape and C A and all, you are left with nothing. Uh, your stipend was good enough to buy a bottle of beer. So clearly, I had no money. But we had lot of knowledge, experience, and passion for reading. So now I'll tell you the second story of becoming a successful businessman and making some money. I was a voracious reader. I don't know from where it came, but I was the first guy to pick up the newspaper and read through and through. And I used to read books through the day, through the night. And I used to miss my local trains because I was always busy reading even the crowded trains. So I was a voracious reader. That has been the biggest uh, help to me. And I would tell you, anybody become, wants to become in any field, anything, even for becoming a top-rated Bollywood star or cricket star, they also read a lot. You have to read. Please take this habit very, very seriously. So I was a great reader and had developed a passion for stock market. While doing CA, I was auditing the companies like Prima Automobile, Century Textile, uh, all these companies, even Bajaj Auto. So those companies they gave us till three o'clock. The accounts department was doing nothing. They were talking only about the stock market, and that's how I learned the stock market. And I loved it. Was love at first sight. And now it was time for me to uh, to do another goal setting. Whether this is the fundamental thing, please listen to this. Whether you want to work for yourself or whether you want to work for others, this is the fundamental choice you have to make it now. If you want to become businessman, you decide now, and if you want to work for a company, decide now. I chose the latter. I said I am going to work for myself. I don't want to take this one lakh, two lakh rupees job. I am pretty fine working for in the stock market for myself. But without clear idea of where to start, I had no money. I had little knowledge and a degree of CA. I was feeling so unconfident about the CA degree. So I had no idea. I was already 30, and my parents wanted me to get married. You know, it's a problem here. Now the problem is less. That time it was more. I was determined to take the plunge into entrepreneurship before getting married. 
that was very remain so the moment i got married i got engaged i resigned from my job i was doing the equity research for 2 years and at that time i resigned and i formed the company called motila roswal so i found up motila roswal he was my junior in hostel we met there and he was looking for a broker and i was looking for a client because i knew everything about the stock market he didn't know anything about the stock market but he had a client so that's how that there was a natural partnership and motila roswal as a sub broking firm came into being one boss two bosses one peon and one client that was starting no capital at all zero capital it is a ultimate startup in 1987 but we had immense knowledge don't forget you don't okay our financial capital was small but our knowledge capital was very high and that's where you score you as a startup you have to have a lot of knowledge in what you want to do and that's where i had a huge edge and as principal has said don't take the i mean this was a path not traveled none of the chart accounts were coming to the stock market in 87 and that's where we scored we were the first professionals to come in stock market and that gave us head start we started early but small in first four years we now you hear the story of money making we barely saved 15 lakhs and that turning point came after four years when we used our money and borrow little to buy membership of bombay stock exchange and the moment we bought uh, membership the god had hand on us in next 24 months we made 30 crores we made 30 crores in 1991 92 thanks to hasan mehta bulran and hasan mehta happened to be from my raipur only so so you know we made uh, 30 crores and and then we said now this guys dhoti masters they cannot throw us out from the stock market now we are going to be here and we will make lot of money and that's how mutila swal came into being and from there the journey started but then i declared myself yes i from doing ca i have taken care of my family i have i have satisfied my parents that uh, uh, that yes i can be a businessman and that too successful one what are the learnings read 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 that was the only edge i had in the stock market second decide very early whether you want to work for somebody or for yourself third find your business model and just start whenever you started as a start as an entrepreneur find the business model and work because unless you get into the swimming pool you will never learn so you have to get into the water and have a great value system this is one thing which i mean this college teaches a lot but let me tell you have a great value system for us no debts no speculation and no tax evasion we never cheated even single penny on taxes and that has brought us this far god helps those who help themselves we never sought help from anybody but as i told you in 1990 the god's hand was on us because we were at right time at right place and don't forget success breeds success i have seen in 40 years once you hit one success small success that will lead you to the bigger success nobody on this earth whether it is a google guy microsoft guy nobody knew when they started they will reach where they have reached or wherever they are going to reach i have no clue i had no clue at 87 or 90 or 95 2000 that i am going to reach here and i have no clue where i have been 2030 which brings to my third goal hold your breath from million to a billion okay so this is success breeds success so in 1994 i learned about see this is the power of reading i learned about warren buffett and started visiting us us regularly to attend baksha has a agm from him i got the idea of building an investment powerhouse investment powerhouse which outclasses he said create an organization which will live beyond you so you live for 100 years but the organization will live beyond 100 years you see the living example is bajaj auto let she uh, rahul bajaj and maybe even before his Uh, 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 Mr. Kamalan Bajaj and all, they started Bajaj Group, and today they are here. And actually, today Bajaj Group is more powerful, ten times or hundred times more powerful than what Mr. Bajaj himself left it with Sanjeev Bajaj and Rajiv Bajaj heading it all the way. So I think we had we chose to create an organization which is going to outlast us, and we started building uh, Motilal Swal brick by brick. 
we became a limited company in 96 and became public in 2008. The mission of the company was very clear right from 87 is to help people make money in the stock market worldwide. If you help anybody make money in the stock market sincerely, they will take care of you. That was the thought process. As usual, there were difficulties. For instance, in 2003, there was a depression and there was a depression in the stock market so badly that we incurred losses. First time after 15, 20 years, I thought whether we are on the right track, whether we are in the stock market. But then, one thing you remember, if you make a career in the stock market, if you work for five years, you are good for nothing. You, the whole life you will remain in the stock market. So then after 15 years, we said, boss, we can do nothing. And when we were just about losing our, we were unfazed that Indian comments don't come back, markets are going to come back, but still, loss is loss. At that point of time, I used to go every day morning, I used to take a deep breath and I said, okay, we are going to lose few lakhs today, but still let's go. And then, that started mother of all the bull market, between 2003 to 2008. During this phase, Motilal Uswal group grew from 30 crores to 1200 crores. That was a kind of exciting journey between 2003 to 2008. And then, today, the group is worth around 12 to 13,000 crores. That is about one and a half billion dollars. What I said from million to a billion. So that journey is also more or less come to where we are. Learnings. Find a guru. Please listen to me. Wherever you are going, find a guru. If you are going to play cricket, find Sachin Tendulkar, find Virat Kohli, or whatever, whosoever is your coach. I found Warren Buffett in 94. I used to think till 94 that I know everything. I used to really think I am a very smart guy in the stock market. When I met him, then I realized that I am not even a pre-KG qualified. I didn't know anything. I started reading all his annual letters from 67 to 95. 30, I used to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and read all the papers despite not knowing anything about America. And that laid the foundation for, uh, foundation for building the stock market career and research and everything. Conduct yourself in such a way this is very important, that you can face adversities along the way because for sure, for sure there will be adversities. Have faith in the entire story. India's story is big. We have seen nothing. As I said, we have come to $3 trillion. The average GDP in the world is $15,000. We are at $2,500. And we are not duffers. We can run Microsoft. We can run Google. We can definitely run India. And it will it will grow faster than any other country. And the best days are ahead. And success breeds success, as I said earlier. As Buffett says so far, I don't think I have done anything extraordinary. It might be sounding to you, because I am standing here and you are sitting there. I was worse and I was not qualified to sit there also and reach here. So clearly I have done nothing extraordinary. Just, I told this to my wife today. And she said that uh, you have done extraordinary focus on what you are doing. She said, you have done nothing extraordinary, but you remain extraordinarily focused on the journey of the future, one by one, one by one. So I've just pursued my passion and converted it into my profession. I was ambitious. Let me tell you what exactly I think. I was ambitious and had a good value system and had my share of good luck. What is my next plan? What is my next plan? My plan is to give back to society in the most effective fashion. In fact, tomorrow I am going to Mr. Vitnesh Bhargava, I am going to Varda to see what Bajaj Group in Siksha Bandal has done. Can I learn something from them? This is different ball game, very different ball game. This is not making money. I know how to make money, but I don't know how to give money. Giving money is very painful, very painful. So I have to learn giving money. And so again, I have to find a guru and somebody has to Somebody has to mentor me how to give my money which is growing every year, every, every decade it will keep growing. So I have to again plan my play and play the plan. So friends, in summary, I can say some, where there is a will, there is a way. And you can become what you want to become. This is the first thing. You can become what you want to become. So be ambitious with yourself. My advice is to dream big, plan well, execute with determination. And most importantly, enjoy the journey. I wish all of you very best in life. May you become what you want to become. Thank you very much.
Thank you, sir. I am sure that your inspirational speech has made a great impact on the young minds of your students, and it will go a long way to prepare them for them their impending careers. Thank you, sir. Now I request our principal, sir, to invite our honourable chairman, Sri Sanjay Bhargav, sir, to deliver his presidential address. I most respectfully request our Honorable Chairman Sir, Sri Sanjay Bhargav, to deliver his presidential address. Chairman Sir, please. I know you want to throw your hats in the air. Huh? So we have enough conversations. You are the lockdown batch, so we haven't spent much time. So I will not take too much time. I think we've had a wonderful, wonderful session with Ramdev Agarwalji. I am very, very thankful to him and you know and this institution we get only our alumni in front of you because you can be what they have become. They are people from our family, our students. The first thing he did when he came here was to go and see his old classroom. We may not be very deeply attached to our college while we are around, but when we pass out and much later, we go wandering around looking for our past and it's very dear. So, I will be very, very brief. I had said that this is a historic day for our college. This is truly a historic day for our college because we have become autonomous and we are running it well. We will move up further by becoming a cluster university, God willing, government willing, but this is the first step which, for which I must congratulate and thank the principal and the faculty and everybody in this college. They've done a wonderful job. Please. Not everybody knows that you have to take the road not taken, but nobody takes it. And we have taken it. We have taken it in science college. We have taken it here. We are very clear that it is the road to be taken and we will take it. Gurudev is our mentor, so we don't mind Ekla Chalore. But ye karma hai aur ye karma badhega. I just wanted to, I'll skip everything. I just want to just say to you that everything in the world that happens happens because of a professional. And what we are here in this sansha, and everybody here is a professional. And what is the power of a professional you've just had a demonstration of? Motilal Oswal has created 10,000 jobs in his lifetime. I don't know about the crores. I care for those 10,000 jobs, good jobs that they have created. For me, the most outstanding professional of independent India is Dr. Varghese Kurian of Amul. If you just think about him, you can think of what a professional can do in his own lifetime. I am, I like to be an accurate self-critic because the accurate self-critic can stand strain. We are, we are positive about the future, but we also are acutely aware of the difficulties of today. So while we would like to create a good future, we would like to deal with the difficulties of today. So we are all professionals and we must understand we must understand our own role in our own society. We measure strength not by how far we go alone, by how many people we take along with ourselves. This country needs to move ahead at two and a half thousand, two thousand dollars. We know, I have been, I am working right now in something close to a hundred villages in Bardha. So I know what life really is, it's a huge struggle. And we can all make the difference if we decide to. And there is no contradiction between wanting a decent and a good life for yourself 
and moving your society. He is at 65 starting to think about society. But I am glad he is. And somewhere we don't have an ideology, we don't ram it down your throats, but we are an institution with values and somewhere they strike a chord with our students and we try and be true to it. I don't know how far we succeed, but we are a 108 year old institution that, I'm, that the society can be very proud of. We are a Bajaj institution, so we have very clear values. We stand for meritocracy, we stand for honesty, we stand for fearlessness. Please be patra to be a part, part of this institution. Like he said, you have to be patra. You entered this institution through, but please, we should, like him, feel very proud of what you have done. The world out there is a very nice place. I am one year junior to Mr. Agarwal. 43 years in business, I can tell you it's a nice world out there for people who can deliver. And I think we expect three things, industry or outside world expects three things of you. One is imandari, the other is jawabdari. And when these two things are There has to be kartabgari. You must deliver outstanding, you must expect outstanding results from yourself and you must deliver because we have a lot of cynicism in our society that you cannot you cannot function with honesty this institution the bajaj group and i am sure i am telling you every good business is ethical we are living proof that you can function very differently and achieve and deliver to society and please we would want you to take this forward and we would want you to create a new India where the citizen goes. So go out there, have a good time and make the world a better place. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your speech has been as usual, thoroughly thought, provoking and full of new ideas. It has also left us as usual spellbound. We promise you that all of us will do our best to realize your vision about higher education and Shiksha Mandal's ultimate goals. Thank you, sir. Dear students, our ceremony is now nearing its end and we are as much delighted as you to be the part of it. However, this day has been possible only because of the efforts of so many minds and hands which need to be acknowledged. I now invite our controller of examination, Professor Praveen Yadav, sir, for his formal vote of thanks. Priti, before you declare the thing closed, if students are interested, I just talked to Mr. Ramdev Agarwal. If students are interested, then whoever is interested, after this thing is over, you're welcome to throw questions at him. Nice idea, sir. Uh, good evening to everyone present. Before starting the vote of thanks, I just want to say something with the permission of Chairman Shiksha Mandal, uh, Shri Sandeep Bhargav, sir. I want to say something with your permission. Hai. आज का दिन हम सब के लिए बेहद खास है और इस खास मौके पे एक और बात इस संस्था में होने जा रही है इस पूरे जिस तरह से आज डिग्री हम सब के हाथ में है और इस पूरे प्रोग्राम के जो हम कह सकते हैं कि रचयिता हमारे प्राचार्य सर कल महाविद्यालय से रिटायर्ड होने जा रहे हैं और कल का सरकारी इस महाविद्यालय से रिटायरमेंट का दिन होने जा रहा है सर का क्या इसमें योगदान है या आप सभी अच्छी तरह से जानते हैं पर मुझे इसके बारे में कोई शक नहीं है मैं आप सब से एक विनती करूंगा कि आप सभी लोग इसके आप सभी लोग एक जोर दो से तालियां बजा के सर का स्वागत करें 
खंडाई सर का मैं समय कम पड़ जाएगा इतना मेरे पास में बोलने के लिए है आप सभी जानते हैं बट ज्यादा समय ना लेते हुए मैं इस मौके को एक आगे बढ़ते हुए भार्गव सर एवं श्री अग्रवाल सर से विनती करता हूं कि वे शिक्षा मंडल एवं जीएस परिवार की तरफ से सर का एक शॉल शिफल एवं महात्मा गांधी जी की प्रतिमा देकर या तो अच्छे सम्मान करें ऐसे में सबसे विनती करता हूं भार्गव सर प्लीज 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 बस्तर भाव या प्लीज पार्थ मौर्य प्लीज की गुंज रुकनी नहीं चाहिए थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू पार थैंक यू मोरिया Thank you very much. Thank you, Master Bhav. So good evening, uh, once again. I, Professor Praveen Yadav, Control of Examinations on behalf of GS College of Commerce and Economics, Nagpur, extend my most sincere thanks to everyone. It is my proud privilege to propose out of thanks on this momentous Okay, sir. As I begin with my vote of thanks, I am filled with a deep sense of gratitude to our distinguished guests of today's program and our renowned alumnus, Sri Ramdev Ji Agrawal, sir. Thank you, sir. I take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to him for accepting our invitation and for sharing his valuable views with us. Thank you again. My heartfelt thanks to Chairman Shiksha Mandal, Sri Sanjay, Sanjay Bhargav, sir, for his continuous patronage and motivation. Every event and every single activity we perform always as the unwavering support of our principal, Dr. Khandai sir. I thank him for his able guidance and unending support. I also give my special thanks to the teaching staff of BCCA department and all teaching staff of the college. I similarly thank the members of the media. They have given our event wide publicity. We believe in teamwork and this event is a team event. And therefore, I take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to all the members of governing body, members of academic council, all the chairmen of board of studies. My special thanks to Dr. Prapul Sable, sir, Director Examinations, RTM Nakur Sri Nakur, and his team, all the senior college and junior college faculty members, the entire non-teaching staff of the college, the examination staff, valuers, moderators, question paper setters, all the principals of the other colleges, other universities who support us from time to time, all STEAM gates and all the volunteers who work hard for the success of the program. I also give my thanks to my dear students and their parents. We believe that because of their trust, we succeeded in autonomy. Thank you. I hand over the mic to Ms. Bhiti Ma'am for further proceedings. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Dear invitee and students, we now rise in our seats for the national anthem. After the anthem is over, the dignitaries will leave the venue in procession and you will keep standing till they leave. After the procession leaves, you are requested to visit your departments, return your robes and collect your degrees. It is too early for dinner and so we have arranged for high tea in the panel itself. 
Uh, we wish you not only the cherish the sweetness of your snacks, but also the sweet memories that your alma mater has given to you. We thank you for your presence in the ceremony and look forward to your visits again and again. Till then, so long. God bless you all. I request the sound system to play our national anthem. Thank you one and all. With the permission from Honorable Chairman Sir, I now declare the commencement is over. As Sir has said, the house is open for discussion with Sri Ramdev Agrawal Sir. And dear students, please return your robe in your department. Students, be, please be seated. Is anyone interested? किसी को क्वेश्चन पूछना है सर से थैंक यू सो मच सर सर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फराज यू वांट टू कम प्लीज कम फ्रंट I request principal sir to take the dignitaries of the days. I declare the commencement ceremony is over. Mr. Agarwal is with us for quite some time and we complete the ceremony and maybe 10 minutes on we repatriate to the uh, venue, okay? Uh, then you can of course ask some questions. I would suggest that not more than five people should ask questions because he also is quite hard pressed for time. So, just prepare your questions, the MCs, and then uh, Mr. Agarwal will oblige all of you. Thank you very much. We now leave. Actually, you can throw their hats, provided you also catch them back, huh, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, do it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, you keep practicing. We come back after you are achieved perfection. Okay, bye bye. Dear students, please collect your degrees according to following arrangements. MCOM, room number one. MBA room number 102, BCOM in room number 2 and 3, BCCA 